Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So now we've got all of our nodes in place and we want to start throwing down our beams. Now in a frame system, everything is going to be defined as a beam, okay? And one common question I know everybody's going to ask is, all right, why can't I just throw a node from one all the way up to 13? Why do I have to throw, you know, put nodes or connect it to five and then from five to nine and then from five to 13? So the reason why you have to do that is because we need to tell the software that at this point there's going to be a rigid connection, right? We have our our floors, our second and third floor, and even our last floor that we've got a point at five and nine and thirteen that we have a rigid connection because we've got a floor meeting a beam. So this has to tell the software that all right, we need to do some further analysis here, and we're going to have a force going into this beam as well and then we're going to have some moment rotation because we've got our 40 kilonewton per meter force acting downwards on beam 12 and then we're going to have some like when we're analyzing a continuous beam or a beam column for example we're going to have some rotation clockwise direction at node number nine for example so we always have to connect one to five and then from five to nine and so on so make sure that you have a connection at every single member here and in between all of them and fill in the structure and try and keep it consistent with the numbering system that I'm doing here because we're going to number our system going left to right and then that's just going to make looking at our results a little bit uh, easier for you guys to compare. Alright there you go there's our entire frame system so we've now defined everything as a beam and I'm going to throw them down as steel. Um, you can do it whatever section you want but I'm just going to throw it as steel. 